here at the Dublin Veg Fest. It's the second annual event. I've got the vegan publishers table all set up and prepared to give my presentation later today. But in the meantime, let's see what we find here. at one of the longest running vegetarian and vegan friendly restaurants here in Dublin, Cornucopia. They've been here for 30 years and they're definitely a local favorite. Today I'm enjoying breakfast. You choose five things that you would like, so I got tomato, onion, scramble, a vegan sausage, and the mushrooms. It also comes with tea or coffee and some toast, and this is vegan butter. is a coffee shop and some little pastry cafe. It has hands down been my favorite place to do work here in Dublin. The Wi-Fi is free, it's always been super fast. This is my third time here. And there's always plenty of seating and plenty of outlets for electricity. It's a great spot if you need to recharge your phone or do some work or just get a good coffee. And the first time I had ordered a cappuccino with almond milk, they asked if I wanted uh, like a chocolate um, powder sprinkled on top and I kind of looked for a second at them before th thinking how I would respond and he said don't worry that the chocolate sprinkle powder is vegan. I love that they kind of anticipated my question and uh, it's always just been so pleasant interaction with the people that work here as well. I highly recommend Accents Cafe and Coffee Shop. had a nice lunch at uh, Blazing Salads, which is a great name. It's a cute little takeaway place. Lots of vegan options, it's all vegetarian, and it seems to have tons of great reviews. People love that place. Um, you can sit outside, there's one bench in the front. Recommended, get it to go, and walk to the nearby park and have yourself a little picnic. I just arrived at Happy Food, which is linked to a yoga studio here in Dublin, and it's a completely vegan restaurant. Let's check it out. If you're looking for a grocery store that's right up your alley with lots of vegan options, we're talking cruelty-free healthcare products, travel sized uh, Bronner soaps and all kinds of goodies and candies prepackaged dried fruits and nuts definitely come to down to earth it's a small place but they've got a lot of the good stuff that's hard to find including bago bars and goodies Woo. which is a train that runs from just above Dublin down to this town called Greystone. Super simple public transit here, by the way. Pretty inexpensive, really easy to follow the kiosks to buy your tickets. Happy pear trees. Which is a mix of a few different things uh, from the cafe downstairs and 
noteworthy. Not everything is vegan. It's everything is vegetarian, but they do have a lot of vegan options. This food ball looks amazing. The brothers from the Happy Pair back there. They're they're just local celebs. my last couple of hours or hour and a half uh, in Ireland at the Malahad Castle. I actually got to the airport at the wrong time this morning <laughs> and had a whole day ahead of me so thank you to those of you who suggested I come here to check out this castle. It has a huge garden that you can walk around, you can sit and have a picnic, you can also do guided tours of the castle. I um, got here too late to do one of those, but I think it would have been a bit much anyhow. But look at this place. It's a proper castle. <laughs> 